Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we'll take a look at another connected home device called the Echo B Switch Plus. Now there are a lot of switches on the market that enable you to control them with your phone through an app and also have a mechanical switch so that you can manually turn the lights on and off for easy access. What is unique about the Echo B Switch Plus is that it is four devices in one. The Echo B switch is a wall switch that you replace with your existing switch, but it also has a motion sensor and occupancy sensor, a temperature sensor, and Amazon Alexa built in. On top of that, it is also compatible with all of the other major voice and home automation systems like Apple's HomeKit, Google Assistant, and Amazon's Echo, so that no matter what system you prefer to use for your home automation needs, the Switch Plus has you covered. If you own an Echo B thermostat, you can use the temperature sensors with your thermostat and they will send the temperature of each room that the switches are in. One of the downsides of the Switch Plus is that it is not a dimmer switch and only handles on and off functionality. In my case that's perfect because I am running my lighting with hue bulbs which cannot be used with dimmer switches, so the Echo B Switch Plus is a good counterpart to those who are using smart bulbs. The packaging is well done and has a very Apple-esque feel to it. Inside the box is the Switch Plus along with a mounting bracket and a Decora plate for the front of the Switch. It also includes an easy to use manual and a HomeKit card with code so that you can scan it to add the Switch to HomeKit. It also includes the screws and wire nuts that you will need to perform the installation. Installation is not too difficult overall. You will want to check to make sure your wall switch only controls one light and is not part of a setup with more than one switch controlling one light, such as situations where you have a switch at the top and the bottom of your stairs. You also need to make sure that you have at least one neutral wire, which is the white wire. From there, the connection should include a ground wire and a load and line wire. To figure that out, you'll need to remove your old switch. It's a good idea to know which wires went to which connection on your old switch so that you can pair them to your new Echo B Switch Plus. In my case, I'm replacing a dimmer switch. So once the switch has been removed, I separated the wires from the old switch and fanned them out so that I could see each of them and get to them easily. From there, installation involves connecting the wires with the right wires on your Echo B Switch Plus. Take the wires on the Switch Plus and connect them using the wire nuts included in the box. The ground wire is green, the white wire is the neutral wire, and the line and load wires go to the black wires on the Switch. Once you have assembled the wires, you will have to push them back into the box and make room for the Echo B Switch, which has a larger back on it, so you may have to do a lot of maneuvering to get it into the box. From there, you just connect the Switch with the included screws, Put on the faceplate and your Echo B Switch Plus has been installed. Once the installation is complete, it's time to test to make sure that we set it up properly. To do this, you turn the power back on and test that your switch will turn the lights on and off by clicking the switch button. You will also notice that there is a yellow light at the top of the switch, which shows that it is getting power and is ready to be set up. If everything is a go, you want to head to the App Store and download the Echo B application, which will be needed to make all of the smart functionality happen. Once the app is installed, you want to tap on the button that says Add New Device and give the Echo B app access to your Camera and Photos app, which will be used for the HomeKit code. From there, you want to tap on the device you are installing, which in our case is the Switch Plus, and the app will walk you through the steps to installing your Echo B Switch that I demonstrated earlier in this video. Once the installation is completed, click the Get Started button at the bottom of the screen. From there, you will be asked to create an Echo B account. Once the account is created, you are asked to select the device you want to add, and then you're asked if you would like to continue setting up HomeKit. Next, you select the HomeKit room you want to add the switch to and allow access to your network. Then, taking the card that is included in the box with the HomeKit code on it, you scan the code and it goes through the process of connecting to your device, adding the device to HomeKit, and then it lets you know when everything is finished. From there, you tap the Next, and you select a name for your device, which corresponds to the room it is located in. Once that is complete, the Echo B asks for location information, and the installation of your switch is complete. To set up the Amazon Alexa functionality, you tap into the switch that you are looking to set up, and then tap on the microphone icon on the bottom right of the screen. 
From there, you need to sign in with your Amazon account so that Alexa can recognize your device and connect it with your other smart home devices. Once this is finished, the device is set up to work with Amazon voice commands. To access the smart features of your Echo B Switch Plus, tap on the icon in the middle of the bottom row and tap on Let's Go. From there, you tap on the location of your light. To save energy, you can have the light automatically turn off when you leave the room using its built-in sensors. You can also have the lights automatically turn on when you enter the room at night, which keeps you from having to fumble for the switch. There is also a built-in light that you can turn on to more easily find the switch at night. So far, I'm really enjoying my Echo B Switch Plus. I have one in my dining room, living room, loft, and bedroom. What I really like is the fact that I can access the smart features in HomeKit as well, which makes it easy to use with automation and puts both a temperature and motion sensor in each of these rooms that I can use to control other automation. They can be a little pricey at $79 each, but when you figure you're getting a motion sensor, occupancy sensor, temperature sensor, and a nightlight in a smart switch, it starts to look like a good deal compared to adding each of these items individually. In a future screencast, I'll show how I leverage the switches in my home kit setup. Well, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.